Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Mindful Moodling will be starting in a few moments, minutes. Well, you know how early I am. Anyway, just bear with me, the video is about to start soon. Thanks, bye. Hello, good afternoon, good morning. Hope everyone's well. Happy sixth birthday to Jamis. We are now six years old today. How crazy is that? Um, this is one of my concertina books for one of my Moodle Doodle Doodle journals. So I thought perhaps I would work in this. I just want to get back to some drawing, just some doodle, whatever. I don't want to be trying to recreate. A masterpiece I just want to chill because I'm not great at I am great at chilling I'm just so lethargic at the moment but I think it's got something to do with the weather I can't find my daylight bulb anyway not my daylight bulb my sad light I have a sad lamp and it's really clever so anyway how is everybody I've been away working working and I thought today I just want like I say, just want to do some basic chill stuff for me. Um, and I'm not I'm not in a great place for work. We all get it. So how do I get through it? This is how I get through my blockages. Well, within means I'm not one of them blocked. Well, it could be. It could be if you wanted to do this whatever floats your boat so let's have a quick look at see who's on so we've got makey omega good afternoon facebook lo use loser sorry facebook user oh sorry about that hello oh we've got the lovely leslie Oh, Leslie. I, I meet Leslie at the uh, monastery. Um, and she's a great Patreon of mine as well. Proper Smasher Tracer. She's not been on for ages. I know who that is because of what she says. Tracer's another Patreon. Angela, hello. Angela's watching us on YouTube. We've got the lovely Jenna. Beautiful work, Jenna. She's watching us on Facebook, and we've got Blavis, Blavis International. She's uh, she's one of our bouncers. I can't say that anymore, can I? Hello, Carol Ann, another one of my Patreons. And we have a low Facebook user to away, oh, get rid of that. I don't, I, I, it's going to do it again. I'm going to say it because you know I say it. Why does it tell me to be ready to start? Hi, Facebook user. Hello, everyone. This is a lovely surprise. Thank you very much, um, Facebook user and Facebook user. Hi. So, yeah, very impromptu. I got on the internet looking at stuff and I was like looking at the news, reading all the newspapers, headlines, rubbish. Uh, it's good to be informed, but then it was like... Um, 2018 it said happy second birthday and I was like what so it must mean so if it was two in 2018 it before four so six I think um, I think I think I think I think so anyway I've got this out now this could be anything that you've got a little bit of journaling it could be anything in your book it could be pages plain simple it could be collage papers like i've got and i'm just going to doodle within that i've got some more that i use these are the papers do you remember of that book 
smashing coloration there i love it so yeah i thought i'd use this one first we did the mushrooms the other day so if you're into that go and have a look so the first i'm going to do is um perhaps use the inside as the the gateway for it so the first thing good to do is let's choose some funky designs so i think on this one i'm just going to go i have to be careful because some glues don't like now that's having a bit of a There we go. Some don't like, some do like pens, you know, so. Um, so what I'm going to do is just. Brick work. And then brick work in it. This is going to be so simple, I'll probably get quite a few done. So, just a quick work. This is just me ironing out my mojo less times. I'm not in a great sort of moodle moment so what do you do you just moodle it out it's a bit like stretching your muscles when you've been playing football not that play football a lot ever i should say just going to darken around that area there because i've used decoupage glue it's got a resistance so be careful you know might not like you working on top of it that's only one little bit so it's like a little peephole um <clears throat> i'm going to use a finer pen and a pencil because i think it i might need to sort of set down some patterns i think this one could be on um you know Patterns, so to speak. So if I just oh, I'll do it darker for you. I hope you can join in with me. It doesn't matter if you don't. Um, this is just how I can get my groove on. Um, And be creative so there we go how are you anyway how how how's things going Having a few days at Highlight Crafts. All speed ahead. And I've got my Moodle doodle this weekend. Uh, not this weekend, we're on the weekend. Um, we've got it coming up soon. On the 30th of launch, so yeah exciting days very uh yeah i feel very honored to to know that they trust me to do that is i know people say oh this that and the other but at the end of the day um highlight art taking over they're just encompassing other people's skills in it so if you think that then you know just think it's not about that it's about um if they can bring journaling and all that into their sort of repertoire then that's all good um but yeah they, they want to make sure that 
people are covered. And that's what it's boiling down to. And, you know, there's lots of people involved in this, not just me. And, you know, I'm very, very, very grateful because, you know, I, I wish in everybody could have the same happen because I've got a job at the end of the day and, and that's what matters. I've got a job. I've been offered a wonderful opportunity for a job. And yeah, uh, I'm afraid to say the best will in the world. I couldn't, like many demonstrators, survive on my own if I weren't given a job. So I get a bit of that about people who say, you know, you should do this, that and the other, but it's all about whether you can provide a product for people in a timely manner, in, a, in, in the right price. So, yeah, I just, I'm very pleased to think that I have got that opportunity. And when it comes to things like refilling orders and things, or jumping in at the last moment, which is a big part of it, you uh, have to have the proceeds, the products, everything to be able to jump in at the last moment and fulfil it. And I'm sorry to say that many of smaller companies aren't able to do that. And it, not perfect and all but it, it gets it gets more it gets difficult to please everybody but I'm very honoured that they've asked me to join them So I can continue on my journey with them. Oh, absolutely brilliant. So here what I'm doing is after a little going on with myself for a bit is I've just done some like windows and um And this is all about moodling. This is what moodle's about. You take the time for yourself to do some work. I really enjoy it, which I thoroughly am now. I wasn't before, you know. Not on this, but I was thinking this morning, I don't want to be creative. I want a day off. Because I'm not having a day off for months. I mean, I'm doing a piece of embroidery for your new book. Do you want to see it? No, it's not a new book. Look out, show you. It's in there. I'll get it in a minute. For my new book cover. And it's took me five, six days solid. And I can't afford to sort of spend that much time on something. I mean, I should be sort of working hard on something else. And by that, I mean several things. You know, not just spending four days on one thing. So this is a way of me freeing that up a bit. So I want you to do Alice in Wonder, so I'm thinking about which Alice in Wonder. I think... Weird, isn't it? How you think Alice in Wonderland, and then you think the 
people actually understand what I mean by Alice in Wonder? Wonderland. It's like checkerboard. It, it's weird, isn't it? How we bring one visualization or one object or one thing, and it's synonymous with everything. I, I, that always intrigues me. That. So I've got this like big wide expanse here and I'm going to split some of these up I think but yeah you sort of look at something I think Alice in Wonderland um, Disney you, you, you know you, you think like big ears of Disney well not big ears but you know what I mean So that'll be it, yeah. We'll do top, bottom. That's that's uh there we go. I wish really I had more time, but the lovely people at Spellbound sent me a wonderful thing. I bought the book and everything, and I'm going to do the Turkish knot. Um, and I want to do that, but I've got to do my work. So that's my guilty pleasure, Spellbound. So go and do your Spellbound knots. Got one for Christmas as well that I bought. Um, but it's it's like it doesn't matter. It's a great brooch. Just see things differently, don't you? You don't have to have it as a you know as a do for for your tree. You can have it as a brooch or a tassel or whatever you want. This is looking quite strange. I like it though. It's a bit like me. Weird. So anyway, just put dots and little windows in and things. I did not know a snail can sleep for three years. Found out that today. It's like wow. So on this one, I might do. Now, this is moodling in its purest form, where you just get a pen and a paper and you doodle. This is pure moodling for fun. Wasn't that live from Belinda Wonderful last night? All the lives are very lucky, very lucky that, you know, we have these wonderful people doing them. So I quite like that. It's really, really simple and quick. So what do we do? I'll just put in... I think I'll put in some, like, just... Simple lines. The only thing is, when you're using a glue underneath or a medium of any sort, you do need to give it time to dry. Otherwise, what you what you tend up is you're able to wipe it off before it cures. So just be mindful of that one. So we'll do fake stitching. 
thinking of stitches, talking of stitches, did you see what the wonderful Rachel's done with one of my panels? Oh my word. It's it. Sorry, I'm moving everything out of the way. I think this brings the paper into it now. It didn't before. It, it was very much um, two, two separate halves. There. So we've got that, which now reads quite well, doesn't it? We've got another one there. And I think we should do this as well. We could do this more of a, a circular one. Oh, we've got these. But it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, is a actually. Be interesting. I've got my purse here. Let, let's do a mural one on this. Oh, I feel much better now. Who's been in my purse? Never locked my purse. Where do I lock my purse? Now in it. Oh, my. I locked it. That's why. Idiot. Right, get some money out. Oh, what's that? It's going to be difficult, this, so. Do I want to do this or do I want to oh. do, do that one? Or do I, do I want to do this one? Doing this one. Doing this one. Okay, so. What shape in my book? What shape in my book? I want to do something really different here. So if we do a ziggy zaggy one. Right, okay, I know what I'm gonna do here. Put the nib on that one, put the knob on it, that's it. Get the knob on that. Right, on this one coming down, whichever way you want, don't matter because writing's irrelevant to it. I'm just going to do um, like an Art Deco one. So there we go, just two straight lines like that. And then we're going to, going to do. zigzag going up sometimes I'm in the mood for doing lots of work fast and sometimes I have to do lots of fast work and then only finish a few properly I'll pick it best out. Just using the shapes I find. So. Got some coloured pen well I've got about three coloured pencils here but the, the, they're quite nice because it's quite simple to the uh, quite similar to the, the grade gradient of the paper and stuff 
spread out and it's got tone, hasn't it? So it's quite nice like that. Then if we do one like that. This is one of my flat pens. What I mean by that is when, when I've used my pen constantly straight up and down, you get a flat end on it. So it's good for my circle or base and all sorts, getting a, a straight line. So I call it my, you know, my flat pens. It's got a nice, it's got quite a thingy on that, hasn't it? Like an African pattern feel. I could... Um, tribal doesn't have to be African it could be any tribal thing and then you know the other one could be um, dots it could be Aboriginal I'm just putting some white on these now I might outline them in black again get anybody moves on it it's quite interesting how i've sort of spoke to people who they want to do this but they think well how do i do it and it's like i've created this hidden agenda no you just pick a pen up and do what's in your head and it's almost people think now nah, it's got to be more to it than that can't be that easy yep afraid it is it is that easy. You know, it's only as hard as you make it. I'm going to leave that to dry because I think that needs, you know, a little bit of that around it. So we've got that pattern, which is quite a nice tribal pattern. Um, Which is the smallest one? So I'm just drawing around this one pence. Get a I don't want to go off it yet because I want to sort of see how it goes and then if I do need to go off it I will but I don't want to at the moment I just want to keep it in it bit too close that but hey ho Yep, cheered me up this, really cheered me up. So we've got that. Um, oh, I'm missing some comments. Oh, and I've got that on. Sorry, Facebook user. Um, so let's put in another line. This could be wibbly wobbly. Size is up to you. So we're sort of looking at that shape. You normally work a little bit easier if you've got a fat, fat nib on your pen because you could really go in with that then but I'm just going to go for it anyway. So here I 
I'm only going to pick three out if it falls on an even number. Or I could just add it that there. I was reading that um, I think it was 2014 in one of the main Egyptian um, museums they were moving the death mask of Tutankhamun Tutankhamun and um, the pharaoh's sort of symbol of kingship or whatever you want to call it, you know, of, of you know, his status was the beard, serpent-like beard. And, you know, there's been Cleopatra was once said to have also had a beard. Not personally, not like, you know, proper beard, but, you know, a phallus, phallus like a beard. Anyway, so it denoted, it was really important, it denoted that you were like the king or, you know, the queen acting as a king sort of thing. This sounds so terrible what I'm trying to say, doesn't it? But never mind. Anyway away what's this so they they was trying to move it i think it was 2014 they were trying to move uh to Camus death mask and they um dropped it <laughs> something that can you imagine that can you imagine that dropping the one of the most iconic images in the world you know, there's not many places in the world that don't know or haven't seen or haven't um, had some sort of knowledge of it. Anyway, before they knew, um, the, the museum authorities, the workers who were moving it, decided that they were going to try and fix it. So they stuck it together with epoxy resin. <laughs> and they didn't join it very well. Um, in fact, it was that bad that they're now being sued for um, for doing it because they've created so much damage. But let's face it, you've dropped something of such importance. You've got two choices. You can try and stick it together yourself. Or you go and tell everybody how crap you are for dropping it. I mean, you'd run and get your epoxy, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Well, I, eh. But if it looked really bad, then I'd go and tell them. I wouldn't try and... I'd try and fix it. And if I didn't fix it, I'd have to go and say. Because it's obvious. Oh, I don't know. Something like that. I'd have to tell them straight away because it's like conservators stuff in it. Oh, I don't know. But he, anyway, they got into trouble. They got into trouble. So they're being sued now for millions. These guys, they're, not, they're, they're just like workers, everyday workers. How are they going to fix that? But yeah, I felt really bad for them because it is. It's like your worst nightmare, isn't it? It's your absolute worst like nightmare. You've got one job, and that is to safely move to Carmoon from one place to another, and you drop him. Come on. That's, I reckon they did that because they were so worried about dropping him. They dropped him. Anyway, they're not actually charging them with dropping him. Dropping him. Or dropping the mask. They're charging him. They're charging them with fixing it the wrong way with epoxy resin. So although they dropped it and broke the beard off. Sorry, I didn't tell you. That's what they broke off the beard. They broke, they broke the beard off. 
um, the charging them was using the wrong glue. Seriously, charging them with the wrong glue. So maybe if they use you here or something, it might not have been charged. Or maybe they've just done it in a better way. But I've got Mammy and all these poor guys like on day day jobs being charged with the um, dropping of Tutankhamun. I thought that was quite interesting. I think that somebody who tried to get a job done cheaply, do you know what I mean? Didn't get it done properly, did it on the cheap. Bish bash bosh. Tutankhamun's beard is no longer the appendage is not where it should be. It's on the floor. And then they're saying, right, I didn't I didn't do that. You did it. No, it weren't me, it was them. And then the poor guys at the end there, no, they're getting done. So yeah. So I thought I'd tell you that. I thought I'd share that with you. So I'm just putting a bit of white on it. Looks a bit crazy, this one. But this is all about getting my flow. My mojo on the flow. My flow on the go. So it doesn't matter what you do, really. You just get on with it, do a bit. Helps you move on to something else. A bit like warming up. You should warm up before you exercise. I know plenty of people who don't just go straight into it and end up injuring themselves or whatever. But it's a known fact. You should always warm up. So this is like your warm up. I really like that. Right, okay. So I'm going to go back over this. Now it's dried. I've got some work to do this week because I've got extra work and then extra, extra work. I'm not too sure what I'm doing. Ooh, what happened then? Right, so... I've got these like little tribal patterns, which are quite nice. I think if I just do that brings attention more to the center, I think, or whatever. It makes my eyes go funny. This. Yes, the flow. I'm on the go with the flow. I really love my embroidery, but I need to make sure that I give as much time to everything else. So I'm having a look at this now, what I've done. I've done that one, which was like bringing the collage back into the fold so to speak these are the others that i've done when i've been moodling we've got this one which is like all these wonderful color of edges there and then i've done this this one where there's just patterns forming which i would do how to get rid of that um patterns forming in here as well and i think if it was to do a pattern forming in here i would do something a lot finer so that it hasn't got the um the sort of same feel yeah that's okay yep 
The only reason I do this on top of the work is so that it doesn't look like it's just stuck on. And I know it's just stuck on, but it tends to sort of create a background as well. And when we're using a slightly curved stencil, it's it's not as flat. So in this, what we'll do is we'll put that's much better now. It's almost like when you do timber work or which is like a um, couture on um, fabric netting. It's beautiful. See that works better now, doesn't it? I might put one just here. There we go. That sort of fills it. So yeah, I quite like that. Much better now. So I'm looking at that one and that one, okay. I love the sound of breaking glass. There we go, continuation. So it's like the story. The story begins, ends, finishes, middle, the diddle. It's taking on the, the lines around it. And bringing it all together. Can you see this? So So we're sort of bringing the pattern together. Isn't it where we bring the pattern forming its own? So, what we need to do is bring these patterns into. Here and here, aren't we? So what I might do is just to make this continue. From here to here. I 
right, that looks better now. And then here. So just keep pattern forming until you're happy. I mean, I've done nearly an hour now. And um, I've just shown you how I draw to to inspire myself to kickstart you know you make things flow it doesn't have to but then i can leave that and have that you know waiting for me to do something else another day or You get carried away properly. You just can't help it. So I'm going to just, just to finish in a minute, because I'll have to finish soon. I like the fact that they can either be finished in that time, finished later, added to, taken away, you know, and you, you get this, you, you do, you get this sort of desire to pick them up and then finish it. Think, oh, I need to just do that. I'll just do that with it. Just do that. And you're like, yeah, that's what you need it. So I'm just going to, because I know the football's on. So I'm just going to colour a couple in, so it's got the feel of it. So that's that. Put that one in. That one in there. But you get the idea of, I'm pretty certain you get the idea of how you can manipulate images that are originally images, separate images that just by a bit of imagination and whatnots. You can do anything you want and then just put your own bits in. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. You take the care. You don't have to rust like me. I'm going like the clappers at the moment because I know time's moving on. So I've got this pattern forming and it's coming in from this, although it doesn't look like it yet. Um, getting closer here bring it across and I bring it down there I think I need some words on this you know I think it needs some journaling six today i can't thank everybody enough for being part of it it's been an incredible six years and the people who were here from the beginning and the people who joined and all the ex um, admin and all the admin to come and all the people that do so much on the lives you know greatly appreciated uh because without everybody who's done it in the past or the future we won't be here, but yeah, six years old today. How crazy is that? Six years. I remember my first magazine article for practical publishing, and I was talking about the group from a, a mental health issue part. I was so pleased with having 500 members. Couldn't believe it in two days. So, here's to another, I, was, I think we're just under 17,000 now, big difference, isn't there? Um, so, 17,000, that's crazy, 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 isn't it? So, I'm just putting in some lines there. Not too many. Just to bring in that shape. Can you see how it's almost like um, a Colosseum? You know, like the Egyptian sort of thing. And then we can just bring in patterns that blend it might not be exactly the same but they blend see how that's forming now i don't know you'll find your own way of blending but it's just a case of you no know, don't let don't let like things like because it looks like that didn't it well now we sort of joined it up made it all sort of try to come together like this is a little bit, I think I need some lines in it, just, it's annoying me at the moment. So, and I also need to make this less, so, Just by putting these in like that. And then just going over. See, it's now moving away from being totally abstract to being totally together. 
I hope you've enjoyed that because it was a, a way of waking up your waking up your creativity. And before you know it, we started with that one. Okay, we started with this one where it was contained shapes were, were contained within areas. So we've done that one, just a wake a wake up call or a bit of a warm up. So then the edges that we took away from here, we sort of integrated into here. So I, that was the other part of that. And then we did these patterns and we've joined all them up together. Um, so I'm very much now empowered to do a bit of work, very empowered by this. I love this now. Didn't like it too much at the beginning, but um, I think that's it's similar to what a lot of things that we do in life it's like i'm not too sure about that like carry on working carry on working and then when you carry on working you get to like it because you, you've done more in it you get more involved you do more commitment and you know you sort of you put more into it hence you like it more so yeah so if you're ever down like not able to work get your pages out have a quick look at them um i'll be doing a live on monday um and i'll be showing everybody my new stuff for um the, my new uh, mindful moodling products and it'll feature this concertina it'll feature my little book as well um you know others that we can work in and frames for it and whatnot so yeah so bear with me i want to see what you do we'll be, we'll be creating the um frames that do the book covers as well so i will see you on monday 12 o'clock and I'll be doing some dates at night, but I'll be doing mixed media at night and not so much of this. Okay, so can't thank you enough. If you'd like to go and see my website, it's Lou Withers at me. No, LouWithers.com. And thank you, a big thank you to all my Patreons for everything that you do. Incredibly grateful. And my admin, just saying, all the best. <laughs>